better form. Now the benefit is that I have a two exponential exponential, all exponential. Can I put it in all together? E I N P X A plus Y Y. Can I write that? Just by combining this and this, I can write that. You can check it. that sigma is z power n n when n started from the one what is will be this you know it will be ln uh, one minus z Taylor series you can back to the any calculus book sigma z n over n is ln uh, one minus z so using this information I can write ln this, this is up your z, and here this is your z. Ln one minus e i p x plus i y over one minus e minus i p x minus i y. And not, it's not finished. I can make more, but this is the potential. Potential find it not in the terms of the series. You find the potential in terms of x and y. So now is better because here, if they ask you what is the potential in point of uh, zero and one over two, for example, you need to put at this here and find the sigma. But here you have the the closed form of the functions. And the last step is that I can just make. A little bit simplify this expression, but the interpretation I told you it remain for the next lecture. So the potential can be written in the form of ln. Of course, you have a ln some complex number here. Yes, it's a little uh, risky, but anyway. can make it this equation more simplified but I don't want to do that if you want you can use the definition of the you can use this golden equation instead of e i theta you can write cosinus plus i sinus and make it this. but this equation was you know for me even not that the, the other one I want to use this equation next time and to explain that because it's very interesting that this is like a complex number and this is a, like a complex conjugate of the complex numbers. So this problem changes to the complex plane. So this is a bit of a starting for conformal mapping. 